Okay, so again, when we're looking for this, um, please remember that this is the same thing. This is where I had my snap on the last problem. Please remember when we have this cube, in reality, this is written as sine of 4t cubed. Okay, so therefore, our outside function is inside the parentheses raised to a value. So we could say f of x is equal to x cubed. g of x is equal to sine of 4t, which again, automatically, I can see this. You don't need that. You don't need that. Don't worry. Yeah, get the pencil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pencil. So you guys can see, automatically, I see a sign of a value. I know that I'm going to have to use a chain rule again, right? I'm going to have to use a chain rule again over here. So derivative of this of f prime is easy. That's 3x squared. g prime, again, I'm going to do the chain rule uh, in my head here. So we have the derivative of um, sine, which is going to be uh, cosine of 4t times, uh, times the derivative of my inside function, which in this case is 4. So therefore, I'll have 4 cosine of 4t. I'll write that 4 in front. Is everybody OK, or anybody wants me just to go through that one last one more time? You can see we have multiple chain rules, so I don't want to always spend so much time doing each and every chain rule. But to get this, we had to use the chain rule. And again, if you want to break it down into two functions like I did up here with two different ones, you can definitely do that. Um, definitely do that. So let's go y prime is going to be the derivative 3 of x, but I'm going to now insert my g of x function. squared, and then multiply that times the cosine of 4t. And then I can multiply 12 times sine of 4t squared times cosine of 4t. And there you go. Isn't this fun? <laughs>